Every year, millions of girls in developing countries marry before their 18th birthday. In Egypt, it's one in six girls. And due to population growth, the total number of child brides is growing rapidly. Child marriage is a violation of human rights. It's a reflection of the low status of girls in families and communities where it is practiced. And it's a global development issue. In Sub-Saharan Africa, where the percent of child marriages is highest, and South and Southeast Asia, where the total number of child brides is the largest. For over 60 years, international agreements have condemned child marriage. And now, ending child marriage is a target of the Sustainable Development Goals adopted by the United Nations Member States in 2015. How does child marriage impact development? Child brides are more likely to drop out of school, have more children, and suffer from spousal violence. When girls marry, they are expected to become pregnant shortly after marriage. They are less likely to participate in the labor force as adults. All of this can often lead to a life of isolation for girls and a vicious cycle of poverty, low education, and poor health for their families. In Egypt, 9% of babies are born to teenage mothers. Teenage pregnancy is a major contributor to maternal and child mortality. Infants born to young mothers are more likely to suffer premature birth and low birth weight and die before age one. Too often, families believe a girl's marriage is to her benefit. They are bound by household economics and ideas of traditional gender roles. We see the practice more often in poor rural areas, especially in Upper Egypt, where 27% of girls marry before age 18. In fact, when Egypt's population is divided into five groups of equal size that are ranked by household wealth, the rate drops to 4% for girls in the richest fifth of the population. What can we do to combat child marriage and improve girls' lives? Since 2008, the minimum legal age of marriage for women in Egypt is 18. Having policies like this is a first step, but it's not enough. Keeping girls in school is vital for delaying marriage. Female education reduces infant and child deaths, boosts future family income, and allows women to better understand and exercise their legal rights. It is also key for improving national economic and social development. Nearly all girls in Egypt complete primary school, but finishing higher levels with better quality education is crucial. Today, 38% of girls with no education or some primary education are married before age 18. When girls complete primary school or have some secondary school, 33% of them marry before age 18. But when girls finish secondary school at minimum, that number drops to 9%. Parents must also be part of the solution, since they have tremendous influence on when daughters get married. Egypt has recently adopted a rights-based national strategy for the prevention of early marriage. The goal is to reduce child marriages by half, from 17% to 9%, between 2014 and 2019. Now is the time for government agencies, civil society, and research organizations in Egypt to work together and make this issue a priority for the health and well-being of all Egyptian girls and families and for the development of the Egyptian nation.